And so I hereby christen you San Nin. What's going on guys? Logan JYA Dry Kage here welcome me in congratulating our friend Oscar on such a phenomenal performance. This is one of the greatest Drytron duelists you're ever going to see and he is dropping bits of knowledge all throughout this interview. So be sure to watch to the end and let me know what you think in the comments down below. So I'm 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 playing uh, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh since 2021. Nice. Uh, I started with my son here is my son. Uh, it was launched December 2020, so it was just when I started to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh competitively with my with my son. So we went uh, into Spanish nationals, and I nice. Spanish nationals, and I did top eight with right. So I have bubbles in YCS remote, and uh, for me, every every format to learn how to beat the best decks uh, playing right on. So that's that's my main motivation. And since 2021, I'm doing that. So yeah. Oscar, my man, I first and foremost, I want to thank you for the kind words, but I want to say that the feeling is mutual because as I try and I, I, I'm not as competitive nowadays, we've got the competitive minds and to hear it from a player such as yourself, who is not only phenomenal at the game, has the results to back it up, and it runs in the family. Congratulate you again on the phenomenal performance. And dude, let's let's see this list, man. I'm curious to see what you came into wow, this event with. Thinking the best words. Shout out to the Grand Duelist. Shout out, Jordy Wang. Oh my gosh, the greatest team you're ever going to find in the universe, my man. I love it. Yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm my son and myself, we are uh, uh, Grand Duelist players for, for the Spanish team. And uh, yeah, for us, it's, it's an honor uh, to be part. I mean, very, very good, very good players, very competitive. And, and you can learn a lot. Unfortunately, I, I, I'm always telling them uh, for testing and so on, I'm not the best that I can help you because you you will only know how to beat Drytron. And I don't <laughs> think, I think in the Spanish Championship we were 400 and, and I was the only Drytron player. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> At the whole tournament, the only one and also in the top 16. With an X2 uh, record. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Any other shout outs you want to give before we dive in? Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, to the Spanish community. I mean, I have very good friends uh, here, uh, especially I want to congratulate uh, Ruben Lima, who is uh, my friend, um, and we travel together and we stay in the same house uh, yes. for making a champion uh, in a Spanish national with Virtual World. I think if uh, making top 16 with Drytron is difficult to win or win the, 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 the the championship with uh, with Virtual Wall is, is really very... That's pretty tough, too. It's, That's pretty tough, it's, too. It's pretty tough. I have to say he only lost one duel in all, in all, the, in all the, the tournament, and it was against me in round one. Wow. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> we are very good friends, and I, I'm very happy for him. So, uh, shout-outs to all the Grand Duelist team. The final was uh, between two uh, Grand Duelist players, so I think... Uh, it is the best uh, team in in Spain, and and we hope very soon we start best to team have in the world results in in Europe. Oh yeah! All right, my brother. Well, are you ready to dive into the profile? Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, so, All right. I mean, the profile for Drayton, for those that they know, it's quite the standard. So I mean, I play three alpha, three oh, yeah. eta, two delta, and two gamma. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I, I, it is not a, a, a draw format. That's why I'm not maximizing the names, uh, right. and and especially two of the of the matches I lost. It was because I only see uh, gamma, gamma in hand. Oh. Yeah, so that was terrible, and uh, that's why <clears throat> I, I'm playing I'm playing some other cards that you will see uh, in order to take to have consistency. Gotcha. Then moving forward for the rituals. So I have the three uh, Ben 10, of okay, uh, with the Natasha. Is this the best card by far in the deck? They give me so many matches that it's amazing. The last two, uh, the last two uh, round eight and nine, I won in the time because of Natasha, both of them. Oh, legendary. Then going into that tournament, I really don't know what I'm going to face. And I was a little bit scared 
up a uh, branded. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's a scary yeah. matchup, especially for us. Yeah, yeah, and Chimera. Okay, that's why. But for the rest, and and also sometimes uh, Runic is done. So right, that's yes. why I decided to play Amor Factor. But you know, uh, it's not always, uh, and also for Tempai, it's uh, auto win, auto win. Yeah. But then also I decided to play Chaos Max because you never know what you are going to face. When uh, it comes the second match, depending on, on the second game, depending on, on the pairing, I, I remove one of those. But at the beginning, I played both of them. Yeah? Gotcha. And it was very good because, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you never know who is, who is going, what, what's going to play the other. Absolutely. Then, now, Oscar, a quick question. Post Infinite Forbidden, have you thought about any Drytron builds after the new support comes out? Yeah, of course. Uh, the Nudos uh, has to has to be played. The only problem is that maybe it should be by the end when once you have some ritual uh, because it's blocking you to 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 ritual uh, to machine ritual yes. monsters. So I think uh, I think it's it's very good against Droll. Maybe yes. I'm going to use it not in a big number maybe in a number of two and as an alternative to play around the role and at the end to put the dad in, in on the field gotcha. if gotcha. it's possible so i mean but i think the restriction to summon only ritual machine monsters is, is quite scary for me because of course the winning conditions right. for me were these two and, and no they one. always have been. We've always relied on the that or the vanities ruler yeah. or the and I mean, uh, perfection. And I mean, you know, to me, uh, all, all my end boards you will see at the end, it's a combination because there are so many droplets in the format. Yes. That, that this one uh, with, uh, with Anya Mondo is not a guarantee. And then also you have uh, impermanent because the end That's board true. for, especially the end board for the Snake Eyes, Enemy controller is is very common and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, only Vanity's ruler is not giving to you absolutely anything. It's not right. a guarantee. The right. only guarantee you have is try to set this or this, mm -hmm. and then in combination with future to survive for the next turn and with all in, in the recovery in your graveyard. This is I, I, I love that end board. So that that's usually what you would go for. Let's say you open up Alpha Zeta. You don't know the matchup going in blind game one. Um, we're going for Chaos Max Lock plus Fucho and or Amor Factor. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I normally in game one, okay, if I have uh, the, the, the good hand, I normally go for Amor Factor, okay, mm -hmm. with Amor Factor with, uh, uh, with Fucho. Got Why? It. You have you have to make first Fucho, otherwise it is negated by a more factor. Right, but, right, right. <laughs> but, I know that uh, one. <laughs> but why? Because you are going, even if they have droplets, they are going to skip the battle phase. You mm -hmm. have Fucho and you have all the recovery. And then, of course, you have to try to end always with Lancia in the hand. Because mm. the most scary part is if if uh, uh, Tempai made the, the Rudy Rose Dragon and they banish everything from your graveyard. That is such a good point. So I can make a prediction then that your main deck in the Lancia? Yes, of course. I mean, one, uh, normally first or second search uh, to, to protect yourself against uh, Nibiru. Against Nibiru. Then I play one Diviner. This is mandatory. And then mm -hmm. one Vanity's Rule. As I say, this is the floodgate I use the less. But normally what I try to do is in game two to go for it and put it into the field. Never in game one. Okay. okay, so why is that? Why is that? Yeah, because in game one, you want, even even more in this format, you want to survive. You are not going to kill, you want just, to survive. Just live and then rely on the resources. But in game exactly. two, you need to lock them out. Am I understanding? Exactly. And Got then it. in game two, you normally go for this one. And mm -hmm. then you put into the field. Normally in game one, you are going to extend with the Biner and Beatrice. You know what I mean? So you cannot yes. use this one. So this one is more for, in my strategy, is, is for the second game. And then you put this one, immediately you are protected by Nibiru. From Nibiru, you are protected from absolutely everything. And and then, of course, you manage better because if they have something set, you, 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 can, you can destroy it or return it uh, to the deck with Dynamondo. Got it. Understood. And then Lancia. For me, I have to say, one of the best cards I'm playing. And why? Because it gives me a lot of protection. Chaos Max protection against mm. 
bestials against Diddy Crows against a uh, call by the grave, but also protection because Tenpai can make very easily can make very easily uh, ready roads the the root road dragon. Okay, and then you you lose all you, you lose absolutely all your follow up in the graveyard because you have to detach the materials from Fucho and everything is in the graveyard. So yeah, that's uh, basically fairies and rituals. And then also because I think it's the most generic one and sometimes the one card combo needs uh, a lot of combinations and you can stop them very easily. So it's uh, Ash Blossom, okay? This is the only hand trap with Lancia and Orange Light that I'm playing. But I and it helps it's... check Branded too, because that is one of yeah, our scarier exactly, matchups. Exactly. I have to ask a quick question though, before we move on. Did you ever find yourself bricking? Because you're playing a lot of win conditions, a lot of yes. ritual monsters. Yes, and I I brick, uh, I brick, uh, really, really brick uh, the round eight. Yeah. The round, no, sorry, the round, round seven. And I draw something like Lancia, Orange Light, uh, Ritual, uh, Spell, one, uh, but no names, absolutely right. no names. And another two that it was half brick because I managed to arrive into into uh, Beatrice when you open only Gamma. You know what I mean? Right from Gamma. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but you will see that it's, it's quite difficult to break because I'm playing for the rituals, one field is field, one field is pearl, then three of the Nova, hmm. three of the Cyber Emergency, and then something which is not very common is two Jack in the Hand. And so explain. Uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of Jack in the Hand, but tell me why you tell me why tell me why. Yeah. Okay. So why? Because normally you never open the four names. Okay. So you have one name, maximum two names. So this is, you reveal three, you are going to pick one of the you don't have. Mm -hmm. Then it's in order to avoid open multiple copies of names. I say in a, in a, in a, in a draw format, I normally play this ratio, okay? And two more names, but always three. In order trying to not take a draw too many copies of the same because it's hard ones per turn, all of them. Right. So right. at this point, for me, a jack in the hand is is always good, especially because many times you draw two cyber emergency or two nova, and that's dead in your brick. Yeah. So that's why I play normally this ratio, but with no draw format, I play this one because and and only uh, two gamma and two delt uh, because like this. I have much more options to see. You can see it's 10 cards, 10 names, plus 10 other names is 20 cards. 20 I might be getting ahead yeah. of us, but how do you feel about Prosperity? I can, no, I, I cannot use Prosperity uh, in my uh, gameplay because, I mean, my my extra deck is so tight mm -hmm. and you never know uh, where you're going to, wh because, you know, for me, the best thing from Drayton is, is, is a kind of toolbox. You yeah, know the utility. Mean? Yeah, it's agility, so you can use as much as you want. Uh, I have to say that uh, the ban of uh, Link Uribo has much more impact than, than you think about because it, it's really, really tough. Uh, but for the rest, I think you, you need all of them. So, I mean, it, it's good, it's consistency, but then it's in conflict with uh, with Delta. It's uh, I, I really don't like, and, and at the end, you never know what are you going to banish. You you banish uh, sales. You banish border sword. What what you are going to banish? You never know because the the best thing from from Dryton to me is the grind game. You can right. stay playing against Runic against everyone uh, because it goes on forever. It goes on forever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that that's why at the end I, it was uh, uh, in round nine. I think it was I finished my extra deck with only three cards against a uh, uh, Snake Eyes Tempai deck. Wow. So, I mean, it was so grind, so grindy that uh, that was first game. Then I lost the second game and the third game I won with Natasha. But uh, oh, yeah. we, we can talk a little bit more about the, the, the matchups uh, after that. So sure. then this is, this is why I have 10 cards for me. It's perfect consistency with the 10 names. It's a 41 mm -hmm. uh, build card. And then I have 
ritual spell, I yeah, cast just one. one. Yeah, only one. Uh, only one preparation of rites. I think this is more than tens in hand, but I have already, as you said, enough rituals, mm -hmm. and I don't want I don't want to use it. Uh, so then here I have a foolish burial, which is another name. If you have yeah. something else in your hand, sometimes if it is a top deck and you have nothing, it, you are dead anyway. Yeah. So this is not my favorite card. Some builds I have uh, cut off this one, but uh, I mean, I think it, it's good to have it always. And sometimes it fills in for your Chaos Max, your Armor Factor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Then I have Mandatory Call by the Grave. Yep. <laughs> for, because Sacked by so the Grave. Mandatory. Yeah. And then, I mean, especially because if I lose the die roll and I, I want to, to have at least the dream or the hope that my top deck is going to be huge and I'm going to defeat my my opponent. That's why I'm playing these two and these two. Okay. Okay, and, uh, so this is what we landed on. Double talent, double dark ruler. Tell me why. Yeah, exactly. So three talents I tested a lot. So first of all you have to extend the number of number of, of um the number of of cards in your in your builds to 42 and and sometimes you draw two is not is not really good so to me two is is a right number and okay so that ruler two yeah i have my there is a third one yeah? especially i don't use three because if i want the dice roll i want to see this but i don't want to see that right. so this is only uh, but if i i'm going second and i know i'm going to be second one of the games in this format there is so many shifters so so you do dark ruler instead of droplet because of shifter yeah because of shift, shifter and because boards the boards especially the boards from snake eyes are so big yeah. that i almost lose all my hand you know? right so, so you rather just play through the the yeah, ip flame burge exactly imagine that uh, at the end you have and you use droplets, and then you discard two, and you have the third one, and then you, they have an ash. Oh, you, you lose. Yeah, you lose. Yep, so cooked. You and at the end, if if you kill them, and you make, because my strategy is to make this one, then uh, try to make a very fast sales, okay? De depending on the interruptions, and then once you, 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 you clean the board, maybe you try to set a vanity a sphere. Yeah, sphere. and end on something that'll lock them out. Yes, exactly. Any any one of your wing cons, just get one of them off. Yeah, exactly. And then that's why that ruler is very good. Even even if you are on time, you have Natasha. So you right. Can, I, I, yes. I won. I won. I won the last round, the round nine, against Voiceless Voice, and it was because of that. Because they had all the setup. I made that ruler. Okay. I I kill so and and I was uh, two thousand points lifeless, something like that. And then I made Natasha, and I won. I, I, I used Natasha a couple of times, and that made me. Even if it was the ruler, I know that I was not going to kill them, but I was going to win life. So I mean, that ruler is not a bad card, even at time for for driver. To me, it was covering better, especially matches like uh, uh, the the one of the most. And I didn't play against any. It was uh, melodious. I. I was really scared. Many colleagues from Grand Dules was were playing Melodius, and then I say, okay, w what's the best board? Because they also play a lot of hand traps. It's the same. Yeah. As, as and, and their uh, interrupts are really strong against Drytron. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I say I cannot use half of my hand with a. To me, what is important is to remove all the board, and and that's why I use this one because I know that if I use half of my hand for negating all their board then probably they have one or two hand traps. They are going to stop everything I send to the graveyard. Right. That's why. That's that's simple. Uh, and and that's uh, that's why I'm, I prefer to, to use. Sometimes it's, it's better. Uh, especially, I think Droplets was very good in the time you can play Dragoon. Oh, because, heck uh, yes. Because at that time, you you know you were going to OTK. Now, yes. I think it's, it's much more complex. So that's why I prefer to use this one. And instead of go for the kill, we're just going to make it so it's not a life worth living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Excellent. All right. So, so is that everything for the main? No, that's 41. 41 cards. Got it. I mean, Got it. And uh, to me, uh, it's okay. I don't like also to play 40. I mean, I'm not a fan of 40, so that's why 
I play 41. But uh, I think the ratios are okay. To me, it works pretty well. And and as I say, uh, it, it's I tried with a second orange light. It was not good for me. Mm -hmm. I was breaking. You probably break a little more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's a perfect ratio where 21 cards over 41 uh, Drytron names. So I think this is this is a good ratio. I agree. No, I really like your ratios with the non-engine. Uh, I think your explanations were on point, especially playing around those hard ones per turns. But let's move on to the uh, to the extra deck. Yeah, the extra deck uh, for the Link one. Unfortunately, relinquish Anima. Gotta play Anima. It, it, it's very good, especially against boards like a, with a Pollution, because the, you you put a name and immediately you do this one and you you force a negate. If you have talents, is is there. If you don't have talents, they have a, one more one negate less and or one interruption less, and you didn't use absolutely nothing. So I mean, for me, it's it's very good. But um, I have to say that Link Kuribo was much better oh, because yeah. you can use it against uh, uh, Rage, the, the Link from the Enchained. You can use it against the target of uh, the Kastira, um, Kastira Fenrir, and then you remove it very easily <laughs> and, and they lose the target. So it was also against Punishment, was also yep. very good. And we lose all these things, so now it's Linguish Anima, but it's okay. And you need a Link one, especially for when, when you, you open Nova. Nova, so yep. I mean, then to me the best card of the game, uh, well, the best card of, the ge of the game is Natasha, but uh, that you can play in all, in all is this one. This one is, is amazing. Then to me Dynamondo, I double I yes, think, I'm with you on this. I've been playing two as well. Yeah, I think two copies. Why? Because many times you use it also also as back, back background removal. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, especially if you play against Ronic Stun. This is very good because you have these three to interrupt them yep. and remove what uh, what they put if it is not a skill drain. Okay, Correct. if it is skill drain, you, you need the then, cosmic cycle. Yeah, yeah, you need the side deck. Yeah, then I think well the killer for the OTK. Yep. The man, the OTK. man. And then to me one of the cards that I'm surprised because nobody is playing around, which is um, this Underworld. One. So I'm, yes. uh, yeah, Underworld. Underworld Goddess, so many times uh, Tempai players or some other players, they Tempai players especially, they put the, the, the spheres, okay, which is a link to, and mm -hmm. then you start to, well, blah, blah, one, two, three, you don't show absolutely nothing, and then suddenly it goes this. <laughs> they are completely, uh, and then also for some SPs, you know, it's a link to, and you know, you have one, or you have two, and, and bodies, then you put the third one, which uh, they say, okay, I'm you sneak on into it many many times so then for the xyz's i play yep. two i think this is mandatory yep then i play one beatrice normally it's 90 uh, percent of my first hand if i'm not interrupted is, is in the combo you know with uh, with the diviner then i think something for this format especially because of tempai but also because as i said i like that ruler and then go for game and sometimes yep. with Fucho only is not possible. So I play Little Lost, God. Assembled Nightingale, to attack directly. And also it can win to you one turn, but especially because you can attack directly if they put all the monsters in attack position. And, and you can make a, a four material sales, which with Fucho you have to detach two materials in order to prevent it kill. Okay? Right. And then Fucho. That's why I'm playing both of them because both of them they 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 are useful against uh, Tempai, but at the mm -hmm. same time this is for me uh, better when you play against people uh, that is is putting everything in attack. Yes. And then of course for the sales owner and and uh, yeah and then two diviner targets. targets you gotta play them. Yeah. So yeah, I have a question real quick, because I see you're not playing, we're choosing not to play IP or Appaloosa. Is that because the main end board is always going to be uh, either Amor Factor plus Fucho or Dynamondo with Chaos Max and exactly. Ray plus Fucho? Exactly. So, I mean, you did something that you guaranteed to survive turn one. Yep. I mean, and, and this, this is only Fucho. So you are going to use materials for Fucho. And uh, and then, as you said, I I'm much more in favor of Amor Factor or or um, the Chaos Max at the end of the turn, and I don't care because if they have a droplet, or uh, they are going to kill you, 
you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's why I, I think your main target in a long tournament is this deck is so good in, in, in the grind game. You have mm -hmm. all the resources in the graveyard. It's infinite resources. You are playing all the time. You can expand a lot. You have very good links. You have, you have uh, 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 the goddess. You have for the OTK. You have to to remove uh, bodies in the, in the. So the only thing you you have to be concerned about if you go first, is to survive. Right. And and I think for that the end board, in this format, should be not so much ambitious, not trying to be a sniper. You are not. Uh, you don't have so much resources and interruptions in your graveyard so that can sustain you if if you get droplet. or You just want to hit them with the auto win and guarantee that you stay alive. Even if your auto win also, fails, you've yeah, got all your follow-up to try and break it down. You are not going to be falling because if you don't activate in the first, if you are negated in the first one, in the first movement, yeah. You are going to to uh, activate Dynamondo in draw phase, so this board is never going to uh, be mm. uh, under talent. And then, and trust, yeah, you can take trust, but you cannot use talents. You can put an impermanence. It's okay. So that ruler, it's okay. I have Fucho, so that's, no problem on that. That's very smart. I didn't think about that. So you make your end board so it never plays into talents. A good idea. No. Yeah. Oh, if I have Ash. Maybe I can, or Lancia, or no, Lancia is always in, in draw phase, so, I mean, I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm not going to use it in main phase, for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, let's check out the so side, then, bring it to a close. Yeah, then moving into side deck, I mean, when I, when I go second, I need something else, so I think, as I said, a lot of one card combo, Melodius, uh, uh, Snake Eyes, sometimes you, you, you imper uh, uh, an Ash, and and they pass turn, you know what I mean? Uh, so this is, to me, going second is mandatory. I, I, I prefer Ash going first, but I have to say then the, the other card is I remove the Ashes because Ash is also good because if you break or they, you are very a lot interrupted, you can normal summon and with one dry turn to make this one, okay? Yes, right, so, fallback plan. And I don't want to lose that, but going first, I think this deck should be much more protected. That's why I use, Bell. I remove yep. the ashes and put this one. They are not going to stop nothing, but I'm going first, so I don't want to stop it then. What I want yep. is to be protected against uh, bestial scrolls and so on. So ash is out, and then I put this one, except if I'm playing against Labyrinth. If I'm right. playing against, <laughs> exactly. Yep. So this is more protected, but I, I have to say this is going first. Huh? It's a strange, but it's a going first. No, no. Definitely is going first card for Drytron, I agree. Yes, yes. Uh, then, I mean, because Tempai, they, they are also branded and so on, so... They, yep, they yep, the most it. broken, lingering effect we can put up. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's a Amor Factor in Trap Cards, you know? Because right, Factor right, <laughs> true, true. It's, it's more or less the same. So that's why I a little bit doubt, but, you know, Tempai has so many interruptions that many times you cannot set a board with Fucho because they interrupt you earlier than that. So that's yep. why this the, this is a guarantee when going first, if you draw, you know they are not going to kill, okay? Then, yes. I, then I have yeah, this one. I have a second Lancia. And you say, why? It's searchable, it's, yeah. But you know, my third round was against uh, Virtual um, Torso. Yeah. I was scared about Protoss, and that gives me to the reason. Oh, so it gives you another out to Protoss. Yes. Protoss cannot be made if you at them. Yep. So, I mean, and then I have two, because if you go second, you want to draw. But also yeah. Flow Wanderers, you want to draw. Yep. Uh, also Virtual World, you want to draw. And and uh, even uh, today, as I said, a lot of one card combo, to me, is not a dead hand. So you stop a lot of Protoss Prosperity, which is right. consistency for many decks. And you always and they, shotgun it. When you see it, you always shotgun it. Exactly. So many times you say, it, maybe it's bricky. I know. So the second answer, it only comes when you know you are going to to, to play against Torto, uh, Virtual Wall, uh, Flow Under is something like that. Otherwise, yep. it is in the side. But I think two is good, even if you can search. Because you are going to search in the first turn, and you are going to search in the second turn. So you are going to kill them for twice. Because if you have only one and they survive your first turn, 
maybe in the second uh, it's more difficult but like this it is killing the is killing the mind got it and then because there was also a lot of runic stun even if i don't play i play these cards three cosmic i think also against centurion very good i didn't play but you have to play it and another one that i play against back row is uh, the odd eyes Odd-Eyes vortex <laughs> This is this is amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't play against any uh, back row, any stone deck, but they don't expect you are going to summon this one. And so for those who are, are unaware, it does bounce back yeah. back row, correct? If you are not under a skill drain, you are going to. This is how to win. And yeah. a combination of that and Amor Factor, because Amor Factor Easy. against Runic is, is, is keep the truth. GG. Is is GG. So I mean, I was not scared because of that. So also, these ones are very good against. Runic, these ones are very good against Runic, and even the Lancia many times. Very good against Runic. One. Yeah. Yeah, and right. the last, the last one, one, as I said, is, is the, the third the dark ruler. ruler, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I go second, I'm going to, to use this one. So for going second, I use more these ones. Dude, it's I love big. this list, man. I, I I did notice there's a lack of lava golem in the side. Are you not a fan of the card? Uh, yeah, lava golem, why not? You can lose right. your normal summon. It's a high I cost. Don't think yeah, I don't think that's right, uh, because many times, many, many times, I have to extend and send Gamma into the graveyard with Beatrice. And yeah. Beatrice can only be made with your normal summon. So, I mean, to me, at the end, uh, and, and why not Lava Golem is because it's fire. And I'm not going to give them a fire monster, you know, a two snake eyes. Fair. That's, so that's, that's I very fair. Not... I think uh, Jordi, Jordi is, 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 is my friend and, and also he gives me very, very good tips. Unfortunately, this year I will not be able to go to the European, but we were thinking about a common list and so on. So, I mean, Jordi is a master on Dryton. I learned a lot from him and I will, I will keep learning, I'm sure. And, and, and there's a very good team here in Spain, hopefully, with Jordi and myself and some other. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, Abde is another player in Barcelona. Oh, Abde is a goat. Yes, sir. One. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for watching. And Oscar, thank you for being on the channel for this interview. Everybody, that's all we got today. Logan JY signing off. We'll see you all later. Peace.